uh, as I understand. Alright, going into the first game of this match, we do have the Blue Zerg uh, from Mayegi's Maze spawning in the bottom uh, left on uh, Neo Planet S. The top right is reserved for the Red Terran Powerhouse, uh, a member of Team Mechanical Hearts. So the first PVZ of the day after a slew of uh, PVZs and uh, team games where we also did not see any turns whatsoever. Yeah, no turns, and here we go with a TVZ. It's gonna be good. I'll leave you to it because you're a turn player. Well, and, I uh, mean, you I you mean, have been playing a lot lately, have you not? I have. Don't be so shy about it. I've been playing a bit <laughs> now and then when I get some spare time. I've been playing a bit of Terran and uh, streaming it and whatnot, but I mean, I think I I kind of like TVZ at the minute. It's the the problem I currently have with TVZ is like the kind of meta games to go by are mine, mm. but I really don't think it's gonna stay like that for too long because the problem with mines is as soon as Zergs realize how to not run all of their units in a clump over mines, mm -hmm. they're gonna realize that oh, well mines are actually pretty rubbish because they don't do much. Like the most they can do realistically do is kind of zone out an area and delay an attack while they send like two or three lings in first. So I really think we're going to see kind of a transition out of the heavy bio mine style that we see now into more kind of marine hellbat medevac just because hellbats do so much amazing splash damage. They're good at tanking the bane hits. And I think they're just a much better replacement to mines. Or well, they will be when Zerg stop running everything into mines. Yep. Uh, you said it absolutely perfectly. Uh, the problem with mines is that once you trigger the mines, it has a 40 second cooldown timer. So uh, you actually, uh, even if you get like m your mineral lines dropped with mines, you just leave one harvester there or, or just as many harvesters as there are mines to trigger them off. And then you can just happily mine for another 40 seconds before you have to pull back if you don't have no detection by that time. So Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I think... They're, they're very good right now. I feel like they're going to get dealt with or learn. People are going to learn to deal with them very, very soon. Not very soon, but in due course, they're going to become a little less popular. Still used, but not in the way they are now. And, well, we're going to see what these guys want to go for. As you know, not too much crazy going down from our players right now. It's a very early expansion from Powerhouse, of course. Yeah, and, it was uh, a command CC center first. first. And, um,. He's followed that with a single Vax and a Gas. It's pretty much the greediest build you can do so far. Yep, wouldn't be surprised uh, to see a... Oh, there we go, the reactor being added on with the first 50 Gas. Uh, actually, uh, you know, not timing this build entirely all that well. Could have uh, could have gotten that reactor a little bit faster, but I think a factory will be following this up. Yep. I mean, uh, I mean, he basically got a single marine out instead of building the reactor straight away. So, yep. I mean, as again, he probably could have started the factory and then the reactor and got two marines out. So, just slight little differences um, because there's no point in having this reactor before the factory is finished unless he's going to get a couple marines out, which I guess he can. So, it's a little bit more risky, of course, because he's playing with less units earlier. As a player, he's uh, got speed on the way. And he's just uh, saturating his bases right now. 16 drones on the main base, 12 on the natural right now. And he's even going to just come up here and take third base very, very quickly. So, I mean, pretty standard timing for Tick going speed to take a third base now. So, not surprised to see that all out of maze. And we're just heading into a pretty standard kind of TVZ map again. Yep. Second gas being taken uh, on the turn side of things. Tech lab being added on uh, the barracks. So probably will be going for infantry upgrades uh, and uh, is opening up with hellions, not mines. So sticking to uh, a different build here, uh, and you know, not adding a, uh, not having a second factory means that this is, this is just for map control and uh, light harassment uh, to get him through the early game and uh, into the mid game uh, to build up his bio force. No blue flames going up, sadly, because I would love to see those. Uh, no ar double armories, any of the sort, uh, but a third command Hellions. center. Hellions are going to get surrounded. Well, they should have been surrounded there, but May is just slipping up for a moment and powerhouse getting a little bit lucky for them hellions them things could have done a lot of damage if they ran by but 
they didn't, and you know he's following us up third command center as you were saying. Really kind of an economical play, really standard play. Zergs they used to try and punish this. Now if they try and punish it, they walk into some mines and lose. So pretty much it's a really safe build to go for right now as Terran player, as a Terran player. It is. And, uh, you know, Powerhouse still doesn't know about the third base. He's going to try to poke at the front, roast as many Zerglings as possible. And with four Hellions, ooh, one of them almost getting surrounded there. But the Hellions are being cleaned up uh, bit by bit. And now they both of those will go down. And he has seen the edge of the creep uh, where the third base is, uh, is built. So uh, if he was paying attention, he knows the Zerg is on three bases already. Otherwise, the creep uh, would not have been there. Uh, and uh, let's see, now he goes into mine production. And uh, <coughs> this is a very, very greedy build. If we look at the infrastructure the Terran has, uh, we see double engineering base, only a single Rax, and, uh, and a factory, <coughs> excuse me, factory producing widow mines. Yeah, and um, he needs them widow mines right now because he just lost his Hellions. So any attack that comes at him right now, well. It's going to be a bunker there, but a bunker's not going to do too much, realistically, at nine minutes in the game, a single bunker. So, he needs these mines, and he will bury them now. So, again, he's pretty safe once again, and he's just going to start building up his production. Two more racks on the way. Already got one, one coming down. So, he's going to get into this game with a very nice lead. He's getting away with the greedy play and armory as well. So, just going to start on 2 2 upgrades ASAP. Yep, um, Spire going down for the Zerg player, and he's getting his 1-1 one, one as well as a macro hatch, uh, and a Baneling Nest uh, is about to finish as well, so he's just going to that good old Ling Bling Muta, um, and you know, Powerhouse, he's going to have to play um, really cautiously. He's adding more infrastructure right now, 3-4 additional barracks uh, going down, he needs that third base though to continue that, uh, mining that gas. And like I said, Armory in perfect sync with the upgrades. He's going to have 2-2 two, two long before the Zerg 2-2 two, two finishes, which is really odd. Uh, usually you see the turn being a little bit behind on upgrades compared to the Zerg, uh, and this time we are going to see quite the opposite. Yeah, and um, you know, that's, that's, I mean, it's brilliant for Terran player to be ahead in upgrades, so I'm sure he'll be very happy about that right now. He's just starting up combat shields, so not going to be forgetting that, and just adding on more and more production, trying to spend all this income that he's got. And, well, all he's missing is that starport finishing up, and then he'll be pretty much good to go with a couple of medevacs to move out a bit. Uh, and some mines as well as he comes over to here to clear his third base, and, well, just, you know, it's very standard play. Nothing we wouldn't expect. He's even starting a fourth command sentence. He's just playing the kind of most economical game possible. Well, the, the thing is, uh, well, wait a minute, why don't we... There are, the spider just now finished, but we don't have any mutas in production so far. Uh, the Zerg does have quite a lot of... There, there we go. Okay, uh, so the question is, will the Terran be able to defend versus uh, versus Mutalisks right now? I mean, mines are good, but you cannot place them too close to your mineral lines, uh, lest you endanger, endanger your own uh, harvesters. And if we look at what's on the field for anti-air for the Terran? Well, we have 17 Marines and that is it. Basically, the Terran player does, doesn't have uh, much uh, what you would call a standing army. No, but his production's just about to start kicking in. He's got a lot of tech labs on them barracks, so I, I kind of don't think you need that many tech labs right now. It's better to get reactors and then, as you add on your kind of uh, extra racks for your third base, to like deal with your third base economy, then you can add tech labs to deal with the ultras later on, but yeah. I mean he's got a lot of production out, so it's gonna all of that's gonna start rolling out very soon. But he could add on a couple of turrets. He's got a lot of uh, depots in the back. He's continuously building them, so he just needs a couple of turrets now. As he looks like he's gonna take his fourth, and taking his fourth now that might be a little bit too much. And he's actually gonna place that back down as natural, which I think is a good idea because otherwise he might just be stretched out a little bit too thin. Yeah, still continuing to make SCVs, even though he is on 73. That's a pretty high count for uh, for a TVZ. Uh, but, you know, if we look at his income, it is ridiculous, even on uh, just what was two bases, now three bases. Of course, thanks to mules, because he was muling heavily, both his main and his natural, so those are going to mine out way faster uh, than the Zerg main and natural would. 
so you know in this regard uh, the Zerg is ahead because if he can deny uh, those bases 3 and 4 from coming up he will just starve the turn player to death look at these run buys the mines not going off there and well the third base is just going to get absolutely good here comes the marines and well they're going to be able to take down these things pretty quickly and Maze can't really engage there he's forced the lift though and you know that's a pretty good situation to be in initially anyway and where are these mirrors man like there they are, down the right hand side of the map, finally about to come into the natural, but two turrets up here. One of them is going to go down instantly, and how much damage is he going to get done with this? Uh, fair few workers maybe going to go down, but we'll see how fast the time reacts. Well, 20 SCVs have been killed so far the whole game, and there's still a lot of circlings out on the field. Uh, if Maze actually morphs all of these into Banelings... He could probably... Okay, well, there are four mines, so if he can somehow trigger those, uh, he could probably kill everything in the natural and the main with those. Yeah, probably, man. <laughs> it's, it's not like he doesn't have the gas for it. No, he's uh, got quite the gas income, and he's got quite the gas count, and, well, he's on his fourth base is just finished, and he's kind of moving around the map with this Ling Ling force. His meter's just standing around. In fact, his scan goes down, spotting them in Powerhouse. Probably really wants to get over there and grab them muta kills, and is he going to be able to? Well, maybe. No, pulling the mutas away just at the last moment. Nice move there. Nice awareness uh, by Maegis as well. And now the mines burrow. Will he try to lure the mutas into them? No. Scans really early oh. stim. Second stim as well. Oh no, he's going to have to third stim. Really overstimming here. Mines go off, but killing all the mutas, but not the ground army. And well. I I don't think he should. Well, I guess he isn't. 130 he survived. 160. He stimmed early and then he stimmed again before he really needed to, and then he yep. stimmed a third time, just a second layer, and that's what really killed him. There, he got some really nice mine hits, but no, not to mention the the mines uh, did splash his own units as well. Nice band. Just oh, that. that was just beautiful. He, he was like, I'm going to manually detonate this banding without having detection and kill the mines that way. Absolutely brilliant, uh, and also there were no medevacs with that army. But now uh, the the unit composition changed a little bit. We do have medevacs uh, on the field, but we do have this huge swing around uh, trying to target the third. But no, the Zerg is going to come back right now because he sees this small force of Marines uh, pushing out on the creep. But there's just too many Zerglings. Look at this around. Uh, there has to be a pickup. There has to be a pickup. There. Oh my goodness. What a massacre. How has this, I guess, a spot of trouble? I mean, <laughs> all that Maze really needs to do right now is send a few units up to that third base and powerhouse would just be stretched way too thin. He's got a lot of mines, but they're, they're not really in the best of positions right now. I mean, look at this. A few of them just stand outside the natural, a couple of them kind of on the way down to that fourth base. So then okayish position, but again, just not the best and a nervous around. Pick up going down there a little bit, but I mean, I think in this situation. Well, Powerhouse is actually ahead on supply here. Maze isn't really spending his money. There we go. Ultralisk is now going to start coming out, and that's again going to take Maze ahead in this game. But he's a little bit stopped for gas. He needs to get, like, fourth base gas mining going. Yeah. Um, also, upgrades. Uh, if oh, my we, God. If we look at the upgrades, uh, we do see that the turn kind of Stopped upgrading a little bit. He's on 3 2 on his infantry, but uh, 3 3 for uh, the Zerg will be completing in sync with the Terrans, so he lost his advantage there. And uh, Adrenal Glands and Chitinous Plating are on the way as well, so uh, you know, once those Ultras hit the field, I think it's going to be curtains uh, because there's just nothing that uh, Mechanical Hearts Powerhouse uh, can do to counter Mutalisks right now. I mean, uh, he's got a decent number of marines, he's got uh, a lot of mines, but, you know, mines kill ultras so slowly. Yeah, it's realistically, he doesn't even have any marauders in his army anymore, so he's in a little bit of trouble here. Mines are going to burrow, but, I mean, again, how effective is that really going to be? Just before 3-3 free, free hits, he is the one thing he's got going for him. And the fact that he's got a few mines to zone out the Zergans and Banelands, but is it going to be enough? I don't know. Here comes the Zerg and the mines aren't burrowed in there. They do burrow. Wow. Well, uh, one thing I would like to say is he's got all his mines clumped up. Oh wow, ultra, ultra. Ultra. 
Oh, he dies from the mine hits, but that was a smart move, sending a high hit point unit forward, initiate uh, the cooldown on all the mines, and then move in with the rest of his army. That was actually a good move. I think it was entirely deliberate. Yeah, no, I definitely think that the Ultra is going to try and do that. No, no, them mines aren't going to get to Burr at all. Them Ultra's just ripping them to shreds, and, well, Powerhouse has fallen apart a little bit here. His Medivacs are just kind of stood there. With absolutely no support, a few marines now as well, but marines just don't do the damage they need to against ultralisks. Mutalisks going to take them down, and powerhouse finally going to start falling down in this game, completely and truly. And you know this could have been over a little bit faster from Maze if he just targeted the third base with a few links, but in the end it didn't really matter, and he's going to be able to take down these medivacs. And there's just no army for powerhouse at all. It's all in these medivacs, and if there's nothing to heal. What no, we fire? we have only we have only thirty marines and three marauders, twelve medivacs, which means almost every single unit would get healed in a fight, individually. But uh, it's it's not going to matter. And there's the GG from Powerhouse, Amaegis up one zero versus Mechanical Heart in these series.